Hello my friends, welcome again. I'm going to start a new series for the view 3. I'm going to show you all the basics that the Vue.js has. Okay, so here I am in the Vue.js 3 version 3 uh, website and I'm going to install. I have installed the Vue.js. I'm going to show you how to install. Just run this command npm install and view at next. This is going to install the Vue.js 3. We need to install the view CLI or if we want we can use uh, Vit but uh, for this video I'm going to work with the view CLI. Okay, it's more traditional way. So come here and go to the installation. After you have installed the view, come here and copy this npm install uh, view CLI and run it or if you have yarn installed, run with yarn. Okay, and after that, you can see what uh, version of the view you have. So if I open here, we have the view CLI. I have the view CLI uh, for 0.5. And now go to the create project. And here is how we can create a project. Copy this command here. So view create and the name of our project. So copy this command and pass it here. And we have, it's going to ask, ask for what view you want, a view two or view three, or just select the uh, features manually. I'm going to stick with the uh, default view three, hit enter, and it's going to install the view three. It's going to create a view three application. Okay, now the application has created. I'm going to CD in the application and okay, I'm going to open this with the VS Code. And after that, we can run this uh, yarn serve. Or if you have a npm just uh, run the npm run serve yeah and now we can visit the application in this uh, directory okay copy this directory go to the browser and hit enter yeah here is our view application and you see here i have installed the View DevTools. If you go to the Chrome web browser, uh, more tools here, extension, and here is all the oh, my Vue.js tools. This is for beta. This is for the Vue 3. I have installed also the the other one, but you need the Vue DevTools beta. This is for the Vue 3 and just to open the Chrome Web Store and search for the Vue.js and here is the traditional one and this is the beta version go and install this one and after that now we have the view here and if I inspect elements and we have the view dev tools here and here is our component uh, with a message uh, this is props message and this message okay now if I open the VS code here is our application we have the node modules we have a public folder with a icon and index HTML here we have only the div with ID app and here is going to mount our application. So if I open the source here, we have the mine.js. And here we import the create app from view. We import the app from app.view, this one. And we create an app with this uh, uh, 
template or I say a component and we mount the ID uh, the element with ID up so we mount it here okay so now if I open the app.view here we have a template the HTML is going here we have a script and we have a style down there okay here we have an image and we have this uh, hello world component we import that component here from components hello world so from components and hello world here and we define it in the components here so if I change this to the like this it's not going to work we need to add the same thing here and the same thing here and save and yeah I'm going to make this uh, so we can make a change here and we show here the changes okay I'm going to change to the what we had okay save and everything is okay here if I refresh yeah now in this uh, hello world we add the message and we add this message to this one so if I open the hello world component here we display that message and in the script we had this uh, props and the message is going to be a string so if we put an array here it's not going to work because we specify here if this message is string okay so if I remove all that thing here and leave only the message and save you see here we have only the message now and if we come from here and change this message so welcome to you three okay save and now we have the changes immediately so I think uh, we have a good understanding now for how to create a fresh uh, Vue.js application just do what I did and you have the first application in your machine hope you enjoyed the video and see you in the next one thank you very much all the best